Hey everyone, it's Amanda and Monica Lumi, and we are coming today with a tutorial on a new technique that we are doing incorporating different type of chains with ring balloon bands. This is a chain that's plastic, it's really lightweight, and this chain is a metal chain. And all you're doing is we are adding them to one side. You can add them to both sides if you would like, but on this tutorial, we're just going to add them to one side. Now, for when you're going to the store, to Hobby Lobby, to Michael's, to Joann's, or any craft store um, to buy a chain, I will have to tell you that there are specific types of chains that you need to purchase. This type of chain, like this, will not really work. I attempted, I bought these in high hopes because I loved this look. I love the chain, but it didn't really work. Maybe I can finagle it another way um, in a different uh, tutorial, but this one did not really work. So when you go to the craft store, you need to look for these chains that are flat like this. This one's the one we're gonna be working with today. Here's another one that's flat. And it just holds the rain balloon bands a lot nicer than um, the ones that are linked together like this. Alrighty, so we are going to clear these away and we are going to get started. Alright, so we are going to start. I'm just going to use, this is just a sample because I already have one that has every bit of the steps started but I'm going to start with just this small sample for everyone to see. Today we are going to be using these pink pearls from the Rainbow Loom Web Store and these blue pearls bands from the Rainbow Loom Web Store. Amanda loves these bands and I really like them as well. We love the new designs that have come out. We cannot wait to get more in the mail. We keep ordering more and more and more. So let's get started on adding them to our chain. All you're going to do at the very beginning is you're going to do um, some slip knotting. What you're going to start with is two bands and you're going to, this chain has two links on each one so this one I need to make sure that the chain is together and I'm going to put my hook through and I'm going to grab the two bands and pull them through with my hook. Now I'm holding the other end but I still have the one end holding with my hook. And I'm going to go through on the top and get the other two ends. So now I have four pieces on the rainbow limb hook. Now I'm just going to slip knot it. So what that is are these two ends are going to go over top of the rainbow limb hook so that they're going to go over those other two and then you're just going to pull. You're going to pull kind of tight and they're just going to stay there like that for a little bit. Okay? Now we are going to put on the blue. So you're just going to put your hook through again. You're going to pull both of those bands through, put it over top. You don't want them to be too tangled because that doesn't make it pretty. All right, I'm just going to pull them over. After a while, you can do it without using your fingers, but for right now, I think it helps to show you with using my fingers. So on each one, we're just going to put those two colors of bands in two sections, okay? So we're going to put one pink and one blue on each one of these channels of um, links of chain, okay? We're going to do that one more time on the second link. I'm going to get two sets or two bands of the pink. I'm going to put my hook through, grab those two bands, and I'm going to put the back two over top of the front two, and then pull. One more 
time we're going to need the blue. I'm going to stick my hook through and I'm going to pull the blue. Put the back ones over top and then pull. Alrighty, we're going to continue finishing this one up and oops, then we will come right back. All right, through the magic of television or YouTube, mm -hmm. we now have a completed bracelet mm -hmm. to this part of the process. So what we're going to start is each one of these links as before we have two colors. We have a pink and a blue. You can do whatever colors you would like. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, oh my, hook stuck. All right. We're going to start with a pink. Okay. And I am going to put my hook through the blue. Maybe I'm missing one. Put my hook through the blue. And I have it through the pink and the blue now. So you should have four bands um, on your hook. Now what you're going to do is this is another slip knot that you're going to be doing. And you're going to make sure those two, you're, you're going to pull the two blue ones through the pink, just like that. Okay, let's do it again. Now, this is going to the next one. Make sure that your bracelet is staying flat when you go to the next chain, or to the next um, link in the chain. So now we have a blue one and the pink one. You're going to pull the pink all the way through the two blue ones. Okay. And you just keep the process going. You should always have four bands on your hook. And then you're going to pull two of them through. Okay. Make sure that your um, chain links are straight as you go for your next one. The last one. All right, so now we have blue and pink, and I'm going to pull the pink through the blue. And then now I have pink and blue, and the blue is going to go. All right, I'm going to continue on doing this, and we will get back and see what it looks like all done. All right. I thought it would be a good idea to, here's the chain on there, and I thought it would be a good idea to show you the last um, band, just in case some of y'all didn't know how to stop. Here's the last band. I'm just going to pull it through. So now the only thing on here that's holding it together, or holding all these chains on here, is this one or these two bands right here. Now, what we're going to do with these two bands, I'm going to keep them on this hook for a second. And I'm going to grab a jump ring. And I'm going to separate it. And then I'm going to put those two bands through the jump ring. I'm going to put two bands on the jump ring and I'm connecting the jump ring to the bracelet. Mm. Alrighty, and there is the bracelet before we put on the ending toggles. I I hope you guys please watch um, the channel Amanda and Monica are Mimi. I hope you watch their videos and you hashtag them on Instagram and on Facebook. And I hope you like the Rainbow Ring um, bracelet tutorials. And thank you guys for watching um, this tutorial that um, Miss Monica made here. Thank you for watching guys. Bye. That was our Elena. That's Amanda's daughter. We love her to pieces. She's our bug. 
Alrighty, she wanted to do a little shout out. She is our little mini YouTuber. Alright, so now in this part of the bracelet, we have, everything's connected right now. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add a toggle to the end so it will be easy to get on and off of your wrist um, to wear when you can wear them with your other bracelets. So this we just purchased at either Joann's, Hobby Lobby, or uh, Michael's and it's just, it was a row of probably seven or eight um, toggles and used a few of them so far to make the other bracelets. And I'm just going to use this jump ring the, that we've used before um, to, uh, con to connect the other two uh, bands. Sorry. I like to say I'm a lot and Amanda likes to make fun of me for it. Sorry. Here, a dollar. It's a very sorry. <laughs> Elena says I'm supposed to owe Amanda a dollar every time I say um, but you know, it's very sad. Very sad. Amanda or Elena wants to say one thing about one of the bracelets. Hold on. Um, when you guys make this design, these um chains are a little bit bigger. You can like use like a small size chain or a big size, whatever kind of color and size kind of chain chain you want. To All use. right. Okay, that's a good that's a good point. People have different size wrists. You can have big ones. You can have small ones. Right now we're putting on the toggle, so I, I, I finished putting the um, bar part of the toggle on this end. I just used the, um, the oh, here I go with the ums again, um, <laughs> the um, jump ring on this side. And I'm going to put another jump ring on this end with the circle end of the toggle. And it's easier right now for me to put the circle part on here, and then I'll put this on to the bracelet. I like to make them a little bit more secure than just having it on there without pinching it a little more. I like them tight. So I don't want my creations to come apart or fall off while I'm working. All right, so here is the bracelet that I made. It will fit. Let me move up my, one of our friends, Looms for Kaylee, made this. Loom for Kaylee, and I added some bling. This was our um, challenge that Amanda set forth for me. This is the University of Kentucky one, um, officially loomed. Uh, officially loomed um, did the tutorial it's homeward bound and um, the colors are for the University of Kentucky just saying just um, saying um. and now she's making fun of me for the um all right so I'm going to put this one on my wrist because it is made for me and just pull it through I yeah there we go alrighty and there you have it very cute love it you can add them to I would add them with smaller bracelets like an inverted fishtail or maybe a hexafish but very cute love it our friend Chidaro loves her bling so she challenged us to do to find a bracelet that she found on a trip um, that she wanted us to replicate so here was the one that we replicated and um, we just got a chain and it had our bling in it so we love it so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you would follow us on Instagram and comment on this video also follow us on Instagram at Amanda Monica Alumi and hashtag us at Amanda Monica Alumi that would be amazing we love you all. Goodbye.